Rico's there to promote the basically the, the seating on the Air New Zealand uh, plane, so the Sky Couch and uh, Air New Zealand. It's kind of been very virgin as, as a brand. It's been quite risque with the, the painted on pilot suits over the last couple of years. So it's it's been uh, it's been getting more progressive and. And Rico's uh, a, a Henson uh, creature workshop uh, puppet that they've created. It uses double entendres and works with celebrities. Uh, and has this kind of show in the sky now where he sits down with people like Lindsay Lohan on the couch and asks uh, questions that maybe the average interviewer might, might not. So it's, it's pulled off really well and uh, you only have to look at Facebook and the level of interaction. People genuinely like him and he's He's fun and the content's always fresh. It's, it's always interesting with digital because I think people always anticipate that the demographic's going to be this and it's only going to work for this, but um, naturally you'd assume that something like Rico's going to attract uh, probably more kids than, than adults, but jumping onto the Facebook world and looking at the people that are, are engaging with the conversation and the people that are saying, I love Rico, they're not kids at all. It's a fairly mature audience. It's, it's clearly gone uh, above what you'd anticipate it, it would be. And, and there's probably risks and you have to recognise with, with those sorts of campaigns that they're not always easy to push through and there's somebody going to be saying, that's not on brand and that's not our demographic. So, it's nice to see these things actually challenge, go through and hopefully prove a few people wrong and challenge a bit of stigma.